Mr. Flanagan, one minute, please. Ireland finds itself in an unenviable position, caught between two large powers, neither of whom history tells us we can trust. We were bullied for years by Britain, then bullied by the EU on Lisbon and Nice, bullied again on bank debt. It is because of this I believe that Ireland needs a seat on Michel Barnier's negotiating team. It is only in this scenario can we get the best possible deal for Ireland both north and south. We hear support from Donald Tusk, support for Manfred Weber, so they tell us. But I hope it isn't just support because it suits them now, because we didn't get support from ye in the past. During these negotiations, we've got to be pragmatic, we've got to work together, we've got to protect citizens' rights. We need to be positive. Statements such as, you will regret it, from Mr. Juncker, I hope you mean that from the point of view of you won't make them regret it, but you think they will regret it, because we need this to work out. I'd like to hear more positive stuff, as we heard from Mr. Galtieri, that we need to reduce the negative impact as much as possible. We need this to work. We need you all to grow up, stop fighting and support people. Mr. Flanagan, there is a blue card request from Mr. Rubik. Will you accept? Thank you, Mr. Rubik. 30 seconds, please. Herr Rubik. Thank you, Frau Präsidentin. Thank you, Madam President. I think we've rightly recognised that if we have a hard Brexit, there are going to be enormous problems in Ireland. Could you imagine that in, within the financial framework of the European Union, we can envisage certain provisions to prevent greater loss in the event of these kind of problems in Ireland and that we provide some kind of support to Ireland so that the disaster doesn't unfold as we fear today. It will cost Ireland uh, financially and we do need support and in that context I would ask the European Union and the ECB to stop Ireland borrowing and burning money that the ECB is forcing us to do. Last year we borrowed four billion at the behest of the ECB and we burnt it into thin air. If, if the EU is to prove that it has solidarity towards Ireland and that it is our friend at a time when the ECB were engaging in quantitative easing, they've got to stop forcing us to get involved Thank in quantitative you. squeezing. No.